Good morning, everybody. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're going to start decorating our album in a box. I think this is going to be so much fun. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way it, it turned out. I hope you guys can follow the tutorial. It definitely had a lot of interruptions because I was sort of learning this. Not sort of. I was actually learning this at the same time. And I had tried to mock up parts of it, but I hadn't built the whole thing until we did it together. So hopefully you can get through it. But by all means, if you have any questions, um, leave comments. And then also there's a link to Sage Reynolds channel where I got a lot of, um, of the techniques that I use particularly on the lid, um, for building this album. So his, his channel is, is very interesting. If you want to learn how to build boxes, he, he does some amazing stuff. Um, and of course, she's got a myriad of tools that I don't have at my disposal, but everything I did, you guys can do. You don't need anything special. You know, you just need your trimmer, a ruler, uh, some patience, <laughs> and, um, and you can get this outcome. So the other thing I want to let you know, um, if you don't want to build this box, everything that I'm doing from the hinge to the pages can be just placed in an eight and a half by six and a half regular mini album. So if you don't want to put it in a box, there's a tutorial uh, on our channel for an eight and a half by six and a half uh, landscape album, and this will fit in it if you don't want to build the box. So you've got choices. And you're going to see a little bit of the top of my head because I have to get over the top of these sides to see what's going on. So one of the things that I've decided um, as far as building the pages for this is because um, we're going to flip this way and we've got these two edges to deal with, I'm going to make sure that all the flaps on the, on the second side of the page are going to open up here and less this way just because there's going to be some interference from this. So anything that's going to open up and down, I'm going to have basically on the odd side of the page and anything on the even side of the page is uh, going to open um, left and right. So up and down on the odd side, left and right on the even side. Um, we'll see if it becomes a problem, but that's how I've designed it, just so you know. And because we've got a lot of complexity with the box itself, I'm gonna keep the actual pocket page album um, very simple. So it's going to be somewhat repetitive. This is beautiful paper. If you guys haven't seen it, this is Graphic 45 Elegance. And I'm really enjoying it. <clears throat> I would recommend um, going ahead and covering your box first because that's where you're going to need the largest pieces. So you're going to want to use your pieces from your 12 by 12. Um, I'm starting with a bundle, so I have eight by eight and uh, 12 by 12 papers to choose from. If you only buy the eight by eight pads, you're gonna have to do some color blocking to cover uh, the lid, which is eight and three quarters. <clears throat> or use coordinating cardstock. So the other thing I decided to do is I am not going to decorate the inside edge of this box because when we open and close it, I don't want it to get hung up on that. So that's a, a it's not because I don't have enough paper, it's a de deliberate design decision. <clears throat> I really like this. I think this is gonna look very elegant. It reminds me of an older collection of theirs um, which was pretty romantic too, and I, the name escapes me. Um, oh, that's terrible. <clears throat> I can't think of it. Love Notes. I mean, it's not the same, but there's just something about it that reminds me. That's the same sort of feel. Now you'll notice I have a piece of tape here, and that's because I... I made a mistake and I cut this too short. And to solve my problem, I just taped it back together and you really can't see it. Because I didn't want to cut into another um, 12 by 12 to cover this. I just uh, measured it. Instead of doing it twice, I did it once and made a mistake. 
actually I need to put some glue on that so I can slide it a little bit. <clears throat> So I'm going to cover the box, set it aside, then we're going to work on um, the pages. And then the last thing we'll do is install the pages. So we'll do the inside and the outside of the box in this video. <clears throat> oh, I know one thing. When I take a break, i got to clean my glasses. I'm having a hard time seeing. So I hope everybody's doing well. We have some beautiful weather today. Feels like spring. It started out 50 degrees and I bet it's 70 now. So the weather's just really wonderful. I just got back from uh, walking my dog, Nala. And thanks everybody for the feedback on um, the box idea. Seems like you guys are happy to do something different. So it's fun. It's uh, It does take me a little bit more time because I don't have uh, this sort of built-in muscle memory of building the album. Um, but I think it is fun to do things that are different. I need to get, did I get that down? Yeah, okay. So now um, we are ready to cover the uh, sides. And so I chose this, this is from the 12 by 12 and I didn't mention it, but all everything you see is from 12 by 12. I believe this is, Patterns and solids, and I'm not sure. Yeah, so everything here is patterns and solids. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And then um, these strips that are gonna go on the side here are from the 12 by 12 collection pack too. So that's the flip side. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the box. And I'm gonna turn it on its side so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, this is what I've currently got planned. This, and then these strips, like so. But before I commit to it, I'm gonna look at it two ways. So that's the other option, and I'm not sure. But I am sure I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down. It's gonna be a little hard to watch me because I'm gonna be maneuvering the box around, but bear with me. Uh, at, once we get the box done, everything else is pretty flat. Okay. I just love these diamond patterns. I think they're so pretty. Okay, I just want to make sure it wasn't hanging off the edge. It's not a little heavy on the glue there. Because of the dimension I'm having to stand up, you probably will too. Okay, so that's in. Let's get the other side in. Now, when I put this together, knowing what I know now, I probably would not have overlapped this seam. I would have butted it next to each other because this is very stationary. It's not gonna move or wiggle, so it's the likelihood of the paper separating would have been very minuscule. So I, you know, you live and learn, but next time I probably wouldn't have overlapped that. Ideally, you'd have a piece of paper big enough to go around the three sides, but I did not. Okay, so now our decision is, do we like this or this? This is it, that's what I'm doing. So we'll go ahead and open it. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this side down. And it is directional, so pay attention. And I'm actually putting it on the box um, sideways because if you completely turn the thing over, and lay it flat, 
like this, it's gonna be very easy to put your paper in upside down. So it's something to consider. It's directional, but it's really hard to tell. <clears throat> Do I want my pink roses up or down? I want them down. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Make sure you have a good seal on the top because it's gonna get pushed up and down against the lid when you open and close. So make sure you got a good seal. One of the things you could consider is putting tape on the leading edge and then glue for the rest. <clears throat> Either way, just make sure your adhesive is all the way to the edge, okay? Let's flip it over. What did I decide? <laughs> Up or down? We're gonna do them down, okay. The pink flower I'm putting down with the white flower up. <clears throat> If you heard that, that was Nala. She's having a heavy sigh back there. <clears throat> yay, yay, yay. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so pretty. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> so funny when you accomplish something or you get tickled with yourself. Anyway, it's looking pretty good, don't you think? I, I really think this is gonna look very pretty. Um, this is a great way to gift somebody an album because um, you know, you can just set it on a coffee table even. Okay, now let's see. It looks like I need to trim this out a little bit. Yep, it's a little too wide. <clears throat> or actually, I think it goes on the back side, so let's double check. Yeah, it's still a little too wide. Okay, a little bit of ink. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. So when I trimmed these out, I had two extra pieces. And of course, it's not big enough to cover this, but I'm thinking I'm going to use these two. And I'm gonna mask that seam by putting a piece of chipboard there on the side that we open up. But I'm not gonna glue it down until I make that decision. But reserve these, because you may uh, want to do the same thing. I think you'll still have enough where you can cut a single piece if you want, but I just didn't want to, to waste it. And um, we definitely have a lot of stickers and chipboard and elements that we can uh, use to help camouflage that. And also one of the things I was thinking about doing was putting a handle here. So I haven't completely decided. What I had originally thought of was putting a handle on either side, but then when you go to open it, there'd be a handle under this holding it up. And I think that's a little awkward. So if I do decide to use a handle, it is only gonna be on one side. It would be on the side that you're lifting to open the album. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I'll go ahead and close it and then show it to you again. And Here's our sides. I'm gonna trim out these pieces and we'll, oh, I'm losing my daylight. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to turn on my light. It was so bright in here this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and trim out these uh, pieces and here. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna do um, an alternate pattern on the front and back or if I'm gonna continue this pattern. So I'll be back shortly after I make those decisions and um, we'll continue working on this box. Okay, everybody, I got the rest of the papers trimmed out. So this is what we're gonna do on the top of the box. This is the signature page from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And I have it trimmed in eight. And it's just the flip side of what we did around the edge of the lid. Uh, 
<clears throat> make sure you've your your box is opening um, up from the right hand moving to the to the left and make sure the orientation of your lid or the cover mat is correct <clears throat> Now, I'm just going to stop after I get these base pieces put in. I want to do some more embellishing on the top here, but I'm going to be very careful not to add too much dimension because we do want the lid to lay relatively flat when the album is open. So it's just something to consider. Now, if you don't like that idea, the other way um, to do it is rather than adhere the lid directly to the, the last... Um, breakaway on the box you couldn't have this be a separate lid that comes off completely that you set aside and then you don't have to worry about um, how much dimension you put on top so there's some benefits to both <clears throat> okay I closed that all back up I don't know why so where's my piece for here I'm not sure but here's my piece that goes here. So this is a little bit shorter than um, the other sides because the lid is actually glued down. to find my I trimmed it out here it is it's inked it was easy to get mixed up with everything else <clears throat> so when I say you know minimize the dimension on the top I might add like an ephemera card with some chipboard and that kind of thing but I'm not going to put like dimensional flowers or anything like that it's just going to be too bulky although I think it would be very pretty um, your lid would uh, stand at you know like a 30 degree angle or so which would make it hard to get your uh, actual album pages to lay flat okay now let's close this again and then here's our last piece And I'm going to put it on like so. It looks like it's inked. Ready to go. I decided not to use the um, two pieces. Um, that way I don't have to mask the seam. I just cut another piece. And I might put a piece of chipboard here. It really depends on what I wind up doing on the lid. So I'm going to... this. I set aside this piece thinking that I might put that right there. But I haven't decided that or I'm going to put a um, piece of hardware handle. <clears throat> and I'm going to try both and make a decision later. So that is it. So there's our box. Isn't it beautiful? Very simple. Nice and uniform. I'll add some more dimension here. I might like fussy cut the second sheet of this and pop these elements. But again, whatever I do, it won't have a lot of dimension, so it'll lay relatively fat, flat when it's open. Okay, thanks everybody for um, tuning in, and I hope you're enjoying this project. Leave me lots of feedback. If you have any questions, I know it's new for me and probably new for some of you. If my instructions aren't clear, uh, ask me a question and I'll see if I can't try to answer it a different way to help you out. And again, um, take a look at Sage Reynolds' uh, channel. I really learned a lot watching uh, his videos. So thanks again for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. The next time we get together, we'll start working on the interior pages for this album. Hey everybody, I wrapped up, well I didn't wrap up, but I 
fussed around and came up with some ideas for the cover. So we're going to finish this up right now. Um, if you buy the bundle from us, you're going to get some ribbon. And for some reason, I got home um, with my bundle without my ribbon. And I can't reach um, Julie right now. So I, I pulled some ribbon out of my stash. But I do, I'm fairly certain it's a cream ribbon. I just can't remember if it's organza or, or uh, silk ribbon. At any rate, I think cream looks really good on the black. So that's what I'm going to go with. I cut this off of one of the um, four by six um, ephemera cards. So I just fussy cut the fan part out. I put some chipboard on the back and this is a paperback sticker. This is a cut apart from the eight by eight collection pack. And I just paper backed it. And then I fussy cut this flower that I'm going to tuck slightly behind the fan. And originally I was going to feature this and then after looking at it, it seemed a little bit bland. So I'm going to place my fan here I'm going to tuck a flower just beneath it and then we're going to um, offset all that black with this little uh, cream cut apart and then this is a piece of chipboard with a ribbon and that's going to be it and I don't think you should do much more because again we want this to, to lay flat. Now you can make a puffier ribbon because the ribbon will collapse when you lay it on its back but I do think we should keep things relatively simple. So with that I'm going to start by attaching these two pieces. I'm just making sure the word is straight. There we go. Now I can I can take this as a an entire unit and glue it down, which is what we'll do next. Hopefully I'm not pushing it around. And then we're going to tuck a flower slightly behind it. glue there. So this is just flat back. This is raised slightly on a piece of chipboard. And then this is just going to get tucked right behind the fan. Like so. Give us a little bit of dimension. I like that um, the leaves are sticking up, but I do think we need to tack them down because they're going to get caught on something. I think they look pretty, but I don't think it's very practical. Okay, I'm gonna hold this stuff down. Now we're going to place our little bit of a pop of pink. And I want it offset from that. And I think that looks good. And then we're just going to put a little bow here on the bottom. And I'm going to use glue to hold it on. But you can tape it if you like. And let me see if I can't find... Let me use my hook tool to kind of grab it. And I'm actually going to nestle this part of the bow right in the groove here. And then just hold it for a few minutes few seconds. I'm going to put a dot of glue right here behind this leaf and then press that down so it doesn't get snagged on anything. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'm just touching the back of the leaf and we'll tack that down. And in this case, you're going to have to hold it for a second because there's a little bit of force behind it because of the chipboard. There we go. So I'm just looking anything that's sticking up that I think might get torn off. I'm just tacking down. Okay, that didn't stick. 
might need a little more glue there. Whoops, that's a little too much. Okay. All right, isn't that pretty? So that's our cover. So now we're all done. Isn't that pretty? So that's the uh, the box. So the next part will be the focus of the album. So when we get back together, we will work on the individual pages inside the book, or before we put them inside the book. So again, here's our album in a box. It's lovely, lovely. Thanks everybody.